What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today's video as you guys can tell by the title We're gonna be talking about these massive calipers that you guys don't even know about So this caliper actually is a junkyard caliper uh, You can find it as a stock OEM caliper on many vehicles now most of you guys are probably not familiar with this caliper and that's okay I didn't know anything about it until recently uh, but basically what I have in my hand here is a caliper off of a Nissan wait not a Nissan sorry wrong car off of a Volkswagen Touareg a uh, Audi Q7 and a Porsche Cayenne um, so this is a 17 Z caliper made by Brembo there is another caliper out there that is a 18Z caliper, which is a little bit bigger than this one is. Uh, but they use the same brake pad um, and uh, they're pretty much identical aside from the size of the pistons inside and uh, a little bit uh, of the design on the outside. Now, like I said, this is a salvage yard caliper. You guys can probably pause the video right now, go to your local salvage yard and pick these guys up for less than $100. So I'm going to show you guys the tape of when I picked these guys up um, and then we'll go ahead and continue with the video. Flashback. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about one of the most underrated brake upgrades that you can get from this salvage yard for less than $100. So I'm going to this row right here which is row 25 where I should find a Volkswagen Torak. Woohoo! Got some awesome brakes for a discount. 6486. If you know, you know. Four to six days later. So I kind of fell in love with these calipers, so I've been kind of searching the web to try to see if I can find them. Um, I found a guy that was parting out of Volkswagen and I picked these guys up right here for 50. And a flashback. So these brake calipers are massive, however, don't let the size fool you. From what I have been reading online, these calipers, even though they're huge, technically they should fit over a 17 inch wheel if the offset is correct. Now, if you guys are familiar with other popular options out there for the Nissan vehicles uh, or Infinities, you guys are familiar with the Akbono calipers, right? Now these calipers are a awesome upgrade for those vehicles. Now the downside to these calipers is that people are gonna try to sell them to you for an arm and a leg and they're kind of hard to find. There is nothing wrong with these calipers. Like I said, they're just a little bit more expensive and if you have a like a G35 Coupe or a 350Z, you're gonna need an adapter to make these work for your vehicle. So that's a downside. Another downside is that these guys are pretty heavy. So heavier, more expensive, and everybody has these calipers but nobody really ever has these and like i said these are light man compared to those 960 961 but like i said these calipers are amazing for the price so let me talk to you guys a little bit more about these calipers um and uh what the benefits are first of all you guys can clearly see well, you probably can't see, but they are six piston calipers. So there is six little pistons in this caliper. The benefit of that is normally when you have a six piston caliper, you have a bigger caliper overall, which is the case. When you have a bigger caliper, you have a bigger brake pad. And uh, when you have a bigger brake pad, that equals to better braking. Now, if you guys compare this brake pad, which comes on the 17Z and 18Z calipers, uh, with the Akibono caliper, you guys can see that there's a huge size difference, right? This is a little bit longer, a little bit wider than the Akibono brake pad. And uh, if you put them side by side, the Akibono is just a little bit over half the size of this. It's almost half of the uh, 17C. This is going to be 10 times better than this. Uh, skinny small brake pad for shits and giggles I also wanted to bring out a Brembo brake pad from the uh, G35 coupe that I have this is one of the brake pads compared to the Akubono brake pad 
This is a little bit taller than this one. However, this one is a little bit longer, but I prefer having a taller brake pad uh, instead of a skinnier, longer brake pad because this pad on the left uh, has better rotor contact, in my opinion, than this one. When you compare this brake pad and this brake pad, they're very similar as far as the length goes. So Bramble overall makes superior brake calipers and pads in my opinion. You guys can argue with that if you want. Um, this right here is one other caliper I have from my G35 Bramble caliper. Um, this is personally my favorite uh, style of caliper. It's light and um, it fits a pretty decent sized rotor. Uh, but I understand that this is even more expensive in some cases than the Akebono and it's sometimes harder to get. So this video is gonna be helpful for you guys if you are looking to fill up that wheel um, with a bigger caliper. So don't look any further than this. Um, you guys can find this at your local salvage yards for relatively cheap. Now the amazing thing about the 18Z and 17Z calipers is that there is a huge support out there uh, with uh, when it comes to adapting them to your vehicle. So odds are if you're looking at this video and you have like an IS300 or a Volkswagen or anything else, uh, there's a pretty good chance that there's going to be like a bracket out there that adapts these calipers to your vehicle. So right here what I have is a uh, adapter bracket from a company called ECP. Uh, they didn't sponsor this video at all or anything. I actually just bought these with my own money. But these uh, brackets were only $100 so I decided to buy them. So unfortunately because these calipers were never intended to be on your Nissan or Infiniti, there is some modification that you still need to make even though you have these brackets. So I will add some pictures here, uh, but I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I would suggest for you guys to look up ECP uh, on Facebook so that you can read upon what modification needs to be done. I will also add the PDF files to the video description so that you guys can check it out. But there is some shaving off the uh, knuckle that you need to make and some shaving off the um, caliper um, if you're going to be installing this on a 350Z. Now, if you're going to be installing this on a Nissan 300ZX, the 18Z caliper is a direct swap, and I don't believe there's any modification that needs to be made. If you're going to be using the 17Z uh, calipers, which I have in this video, um, there is some slight grinding down of a few areas, but other than that, there's nothing really major that needs to be done. Uh, but like I said, you can make these fit on a 350Z or a G35 Coupe. There is just some grinding down of the knuckle that needs to be made. Um, now you guys are more than welcome to not do that and you know disregard this upgrade altogether. But in my opinion, this is very unique and not a lot of people are running it out there. So unfortunately, there is some minor modification that needs to be done to the G35 or 350Z if you plan to run these calipers. Now from the pictures, you guys can see that there is not a lot of grinding that needs to be done in order for you guys to fit this bracket on there. Um, so in my opinion, it is worth it. These calipers will fit over a Nissan 370Z 14 inch rotor. Let me go ahead and show you guys that in a second here. I'm gonna go ahead and install this on my G35 out there and uh, show you guys how it looks. So as you guys can see right here, I have the 17Z caliper kind of mocked up into place. This is the 370Z rotor, which is the 14 inch rotor that everybody uses for the big brakes. Um, it fits perfectly on here with the caliper. Uh, like I said, it's just mocked into place. But what I have in the back is the adapter bracket with a few fasteners kind of securing it into place. At this point, I'm not sure what vehicle these calipers are gonna go on. Um, I have the option to put them on my 300ZX, my G35 or 350Z, or even my P11. Yep, I think these guys might fit my P11 as well because I had 300ZX calipers on it previously and they technically bolted up. 
this bracket fits a 300ZX too. So in theory, this whole system would fit the P11 as well. Now, I'm gonna have to put that to the test. Uh, so stay tuned for any upcoming videos and updates regarding how this caliper upgrade goes. Um, for the money that you are spending on this caliper, it definitely is worth it. I only spent $64 on a pair of these. And uh, like I said, you guys can find them for very cheap and uh, they're massive. They have a massive uh, brake pad and they fill up your wheel quite a bit. So if you look at the <laughs> size comparison here, my freaking head and these, these things are massive. So definitely something worth checking out. If you guys did like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing so that you guys don't miss any updates on these. Um, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.